Important developments in the strategically important Bakhmut region affect the course of the war. The Russian army continues its offensive on the Eastern Front regardless of bad weather conditions. Continuing with artillery attacks, the Russian army is carrying out operations in coordination with Wagner Group. However, a counterattack came from Ukraine and the HIMARS missile systems, which are Russia's fearful dream successfully fired at the Wagner headquarters and ammunition depots and destroyed these targets. The Russian army had overcome the last Ukrainian defenses in the Bakhmut area, but they could not advance the further. This was because the Ukrainians damaged the dam in the northern part of the city and blew it up. These flood waters did not recede for two days and slowed the Russians down considerably. For this reason, the Russians could not continue their offensive. The Ukrainian army continues to fight in the northern front, which is considered to be the most difficult area. As we said before, there are Wagner Group soldiers in this region and they continue to attack Ukrainian positions. Wagner's group lost a lot of troops, but they kept on attacking. This has brought the Russians as close as Bohdanivka. But the Ukrainian army is trying to repel the Russians in this area with air cannon fire. There is also some news from the Western Front. On the Western Front, Ukrainian soldiers continue their counterattacks, while the Russian army is going all out against Ukraine. While clashes continue intensely on this front, there has been no change at the front. The Ukrainian army continues its counterattacks in the southern region of Bakhmut. They are trying to push the Russians out of this area. Another important development took place between the Wagner Group and Russia. Yevgeny Prigozhin announced that the lawsuit between them and the Russian Defense Ministry has ended and Wagner Group soldiers will have access to all the ammunition they need. After this announcement, the Ukrainian army carried out an offensive operation against the supply lines of the Wagner Group. A few days ago, Wagner President Prigozhin announced that the case with Russian Defense Ministry had ended and Wagner had regained access to all necessary ammunition. The Ukrainians took advantage of this and carried out a large-scale firing mission on the main supply lines of Wagner's forces. As a result of the explosions in the Kadivka region, the Ukrainians destroyed an ammunition depot. At the same time, locals reported that there was an explosion in Stakhanov region and the ammunition depot of the Wagner group was destroyed. The situation in Bakhmut region is quite challenging and complicated. Who do you think will be the winner of the fighting in the Bakhmut region? What kind of strategy do you think the Ukrainian army will continue with in the Bakhmut region? We are waiting for your comments. To reach all actual news fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.